It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Video games have been the subject of controversies ever since I was like a little kid. I can remember stories about Doom and Mortal Kombat and Grand Theft Auto and these other games that were the subject about, you know, whether or not they were caused people to become violent on the streets. And actually, of course, there have been many, many studies just debunking this notion that video games causes people to become violent. However, as I record this video right now, there is yet another attempt in Chicago, Illinois in regards to Grand Theft Auto and other violent video games. And so for this video, we're going to talk about that new bill that's going to come up pretty soon because it's really important to actually push back while you still have a chance. Lawmaker proposed banning Grand Theft Auto saying the video game contributes to carjackings. Oh, this whole entire notion that Grand Theft Auto encourages people to do something in real life is so incredibly silly. Because even if you play like a little bit of the game, first of all, it does not really encourage you to rob cars or anything else. It's entirely possible that yes, you can in fact rob cars and you know, do whatever, go to prostitutes and beat people up and shoot them up. However, if you actually play the game, you know for a fact that if you were to do that kind of stuff in the game, that actually you would actually get attacked by police officers and helicopters. So you're actually being punished by the authority figures in those games and not really encouraged. Sure, it's like a lot of fun to, you know, beat people up in the game and do carjackings, but they actually discourage carjackings in the game. But uh, let's continue on the article. An Illinois lawmaker has a new response to the recent surge in carjackings around the Chicago area, banning a popular video game. Democrat State Representative Marcus Evans pointed at Grand Theft Auto, which depicts scenes of violent car stiff, robberies, and general criminal activities as inspirations for what's happening in his home district. Oh yes, guess sir, that is absolutely true. You see, prior to the release of Grand Theft Auto, no one ever, ever tried to attempt to hide, you know, carjack a person. Because you see, before Grand Theft Auto, everything was like, you know, flower and roses. Like, you know, nobody wanted to steal cars. Like, you know, everything was totally chill and, you know, nice. And so therefore, thanks to Grand Theft Auto, that's why people want to, you know, Jack Cars. Grand Theft Auto, which had its first installment released in 1997, is the main issue, he said. Evans said he plans to introduce a bill to ban sale of the game in Illinois. Grand Theft Auto and other violent video games are getting into the mind of our young people and perpetrating the normality of carjacking, he said. Carjacking is not normal, and carjacking must stop. The thing about games like Grand Theft Auto is that they're not really targeted for like a young audience. You see, there's like a different kind of ratings for these type of games. We know for a fact that E is for like everyone, and of course E10 is for everyone 10 and up. Then we have T for teenagers and M for mature, which is basically for people 17 and over. And so games like Grand Theft Auto are targeted for like an adult audience who could pretty much, you know, the reference between like, you know, real life and fantasy. And so naturally, of course, it's up entirely up to the parents, you know, to check on the stuff that the kids watch or play. Because if you actually don't really know what your kids are watching or playing, to me at least, you are in fact a bad parent. Because there's like so many cases where a parent will buy like a video game, it's rated mature, they did not, you know, they actually tell like the parent, hey, this game is very mature, but for some strange reason, even though they have that knowledge in their head, they'll still act surprised when their kid played a game. So it's very important to know what kind of game your, you know, kid is playing by going on YouTube, looking at the footage, and see what kind of content is actually objectable. It's not that hard nowadays. You have cell phones, you have computers, you have websites, just research the game beforehand before you buy it for your kid. Evans also thank on Monday community activist Early Walker for starting Operation Safe Pump in which security teams patrol gas stations to patrol people while they're pumping gas. 
It was recently extended to other nearby cities as a retired police officer was targeted and carjacked last week. Walker agreed with Evans' conclusion about the game and where players steal cars as part of their larger plot of organized crime. Representative Evans and I have researched and concluded that these very young offenders of carjackings are greatly influenced by the Grand Theft Auto video game, Walker said. I truly believe that there is a bipartisan support to ban this game from being sold in Illinois. Let's just say for the sake of argument that the game does in fact allow people to become violent in real life with the carjackings even though there's like no, like no sort of evidence whatsoever. But let's just say for example that this actually does have evidence that does in fact happen. I think there's like still no grounds to ban something just because you don't like something. Because to me at least, video game is pretty much artistic expression and artistic expression is there for cover by the First Amendment. So even if kids are in fact influenced by the game, even though there's like no evidence, but let's just say that there is evidence that they are in fact influenced by the game to do this kind of stuff, I still think that's no grounds to actually ban something just because you don't like it. It's pretty much anti-constitutional to ban like some sort of work of art just because you don't like it. Like books are covered by the First Amendment. Movies are covered by the First Amendment. And so video games are also covered by the First Amendment. Here's the bill itself, so let us begin. Amends the violent video game law in the Criminal Code of 2012. Changes provisions that restrict the sale or rental of violent video games to minors to prohibit the sale of all violent video games. Modify the definition of violent video game to mean a video game that allows a user or a player to control a character within the video game that is encouraged to perpetrate human-on-human -human violence in which the player kills or otherwise causes serious physical or psychological harm to another human or an animal. Modify the definition of serious physical harm to include psychological harm and child abuse, sexual abuse, animal abuse, domestic violence, violence against women, or motor violence death with a driver or a passenger present inside of the vehicle when that stuff begins. Make affirming changes, including repealing a section concerning the labeling of violent video games by video game retailers. The definition, as provided by this law, is just so crazy to me. They say, like, you know, violence against animals. Like, dude, there's like plenty of freaking video games where you're hunting animals. And so, by this whole entire logic, like, hunting games should be banned because they have animals being herded or hunted. And also there's like tons and tons of cartoon games on which you pull like a mascot and also hurt the animals too. Like there's most games have some sort of violent element to it. And so by this definition of what they're trying to say right now, potentially most video games might be banned in Illinois because this guy thinks that any type of violence is just terrible. But anyway, what do you guys think about all of this? Please tell me in the comment section down below. I'm just amazed. Like there are still so many boomers out there who have power. Like someday, of course, like one of them are actually going to, you know, ban it someday. But I wouldn't be surprised, like, you know, they will probably do something like this. But uh, until next time, guys, take care. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.